WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 139. NASDAQ was down 186. SMPs, uh, you talk about flipping around. They were just down 15. Now they're only down six. Bottom line, folks, market's having a whole hard time holding price. Market is building cause for lower price. Gold, gold contract caught a bid up 10 bucks, traded at 1947. We still need more volume on gold for higher price. Silver, silver up 12 cents, trading at 24.85. Light sweet crude up a buck 91, $97.96 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note down 13 ticks, trading 120.04. The 30 year off 30, almost one full point at 143.10. And King Dollar, King Dollar up 91 ticks, trading 99.842. What you saw with King Dollar, folks, is that made it up to the 100 point, 100 mark. Couldn't handle it, back down. It's going to be really intriguing to see if, if that's it with King Dollar because uh, bottom line, 102 is the swing. And, you know, King Dollar has been uh, basically firing up. What we did have is that you caught a bid under the gold and silver equities. Now, the, what was really cool is the gold and silver equities caught a bid even when the dollar was higher, then it gave it up. And it's actually pretty impressionable that we are up because the dollar is so high. We do need more volume inside the gold contract, inside the silver contract. Euro is trading at 108, the yen is trading at 124.35, and the British pound is out here at 130 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the SPY, what you have here. And you got to remember, next week is a four day week, folks, so the real action will only be on Monday and Tuesdays. More than likely, we get a small ABC structure down. You can see what happened. You couldn't get over the highs of yesterday inside the SPY. You had a contraction of oil, and we did 71 million versus 78 yesterday versus downtown with 106 the day before. This is setting up a small ABC down inside the SPY that will take you somewhere about the 415 area. Right now, you're at the 447. You know, that's how that seems to be. The Qs are even weaker than the S&P. You take a look at the Qs. What you have with the Qs out here is that they just couldn't hold price, period. They're down 59 million shares. The Qs right now trading 349, and to me, uh, well, the next stop is 343. And I suspect 343, you're probably going to hit it Monday morning. I suspect what you're going to see on Monday morning, we're going to go downtown. What did happen out here today, folks, and this is showing how weak this market is. What we had last night is that you had Asia was up overnight and Europe was up also. We couldn't hold price. That is a monster heads up, folks. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Have a great one, folks. Sharp.